Hey, welcome to Integrative Preparedness. This is, I'm Steve Smith. How are you all today? I want to talk for a minute about commonality of caliber. Uh, we're headed down to our our home away from home. For those of you who are with us on Patreon, you know where that is. And if you're not with us on Patreon, it will remain a secret. <laughs> so come join us on Patreon if you'd like. When I travel, uh, you've heard me talk again on Patreon, and I think I'm, I'm, I keep saying that because I think I'm going to put this on on YouTube because it it really it's it's advice for everyone. Um, you've heard me talk about um, how how we pack, how we prepare for uh, travel. Uh, I always make sure that that there is a pistol for each person who's old enough to operate a pistol. And you notice that I did not say legally able to carry one uh, and and a rifle. Anytime I go a oh, hundred miles away or across a river, uh, I'll take a rifle. But the important thing on this is commonality of caliber. Um, everybody you know, has their preferences to what, what to carry, and you know that my preference is is really a 45. Uh, 45 ACP, I like the stopping power. Uh, yes, 10 millimeter is great. I don't carry a 10 millimeter. I just recently bought a 10 millimeter. I, I don't care about carrying a 10 millimeter because I have 45s and I, so I don't feel the need for, for that. But I recently bought a 10 millimeter just so if, uh, you know, when it all comes apart and, and I pick up ammo, if I happen to come across 10 millimeter ammo, I have something to process it through. Uh, but even though my preference is 45 when I'm in the city, uh, when we're traveling, there's, there's the lake, if you'd like to see the lake. When we're traveling, I make sure that all of the handguns that I bring are 40 caliber. And that's simply so, um, well, for a couple of reasons. It doesn't have uh, the stopping power. Uh, of a 45, but it's superior to a 9. I know that I just upset all the 9 guys out there. Uh, and it's got greater capacity than the 1911s that I carry. So I'm able to bring more ammo. Um, besides that, it's just lighter if we need to hoof it. Uh, the same amount of ammo is going to be lighter for people to carry. Uh, when we split it up amongst those carrying bags okay and uh, and as I think is the 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 perfect blend between the stopping power of uh, 45 and the capacity of nine millimeter there you go some of you are starting to understand where we are aren't you So, uh, so that's my reasoning. I don't. People have asked about that. I think that 40 is not necessarily the ideal cartridge, but it's the it's a great compromise between the stopping power of a larger caliber and the capacity of the nine millimeter. With with most of these, you know, I'm only giving up a couple in capacity from the nine. So I'm, I'm comfortable with that in exchange for better stopping power. I'm going to let you all just watch uh, watch the rest as we go down into, for those of you who would like to, you know, life isn't all about guns. And I'll let you all watch the as we go into the entrance of our home away from home. The rest of the tribe is back behind us here. They're being all quiet so that they don't interrupt the video. Not necessary. If anybody would like to say anything, go ahead. Don't worry about it. I'm going to keep this running for the folks so that they can enjoy the ride down here. Isn't that a pretty, pretty picture up there? I'll stop this just so you all can enjoy that for a moment. 
Table Rock Lake, Southern Missouri. We've been coming down here forever. Matter of fact, I talk about this. I talk about Big Cedar in uh, a couple of one of my books. I even put those signs in here. You should have been here yesterday. They were biting like crazy. For those of you who may not be familiar with Big Cedar, it's uh, Johnny Morris's development. Don, Johnny Morris is the one who who built and owns Bass Pro. Started the whole co company from. Uh, a little corner of his dad's brown derby liquor store in Springfield, Missouri, where he sold lures that he made by hand himself and a little counter, and from there grew Bass Pro, and of course he's now bought all the Cabela's and, and Big Cedar Resort down here, Big Cedar Lodge, Dogwood Canyon. Top of the rock, many other things. Oh, I should get us just a second, I'll let you see that. Tell me that's not pretty. We'll be going there eh, later or another time. It's a beautiful little chapel. I know that for everybody who just came for the gun stuff, they've already left, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. People have different interests. Guns is an important part. Guns and ammo, an important part of life, preparedness, and survival. But life is more than that. And so we're headed in there. to live a nice slice of life. And I'll turn this off and remind you all that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. So I hope you're preparing well so you can live well tomorrow. And we're getting about to. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.